What is going on guys? Real Touch GML here back with another Game Maker tutorial and today this is going to be a recommendation tutorial and this is how to make a platformer and how to actually incorporate ice like an ice block into your game and make it so that as you can see here we, we uh, this is a normal block and you stop just fine but when you go on the ice and you release you kind of slide a little bit okay so there you go that's what we're, I'm going to be showing you today stay tuned so I'm going to start off by just doing this all again from scratch. Now if we go into the sprites here and go to the player, as you can see we have uh, two images facing right and facing left. Okay, And we also have the blocks here, just make them solid, nothing too special there, and create an object. So I'm going to call it O player, and I'm going to go ahead and create the player. And in the create event, I'm just going to set up some default variables image speed equals zero image index equals zero and facing equals one okay now this facing variable variable is going to be important because we need to know which way is facing so if we're able if we move from ice block to the actual block the solid block then we want them to stop sliding which is going to be a problem that we're going to see so we need to check this facing variable all right, then go into the step event here, and I'm just gonna put in basic gravity. So if place free, x comma y plus one, then uh, gravity equals one, else gravity equals zero. Okay, so pretty basic gravity. Uh, now I'm just gonna put in some quick movement. So if keyboard check, vk right. Um, H speed equals five, and facing equals one. Okay, so that's if you, if you're facing right, you're gonna equal one, and then just du duplicate that and say VK left. H speed equals negative five, and facing equals negative one. Okay, and now let's go ahead and put in our collision. So O block, move contact solid. Direction 12 and V speed equals zero. And I could just duplicate that for the ice. There we go. And everything's golden now. So if we go ahead and we have everything in our room here, let's just put our player in. And we run it. As you can see, he drops down, but he doesn't stop moving and uh, he doesn't the image doesn't change so go back into the sub event real quick and to just make it change images from looking right looking left all we can say is if facing equals one image index equals zero else image index equals one there we go all right so that'll change the images around now let's go ahead and do the release so if keyboard check released VK right then we can say H speed equals zero for now and then just copy and paste that for VK left and I guess we could put in a quick jumping key so if keyboard check rest VK space V speed minus equals 15 we'll say all right so now if we run it as you can see we've made a bit of progress here but there's still no sliding and that's what we're gonna head into right now so how do we do sliding well basically since we're using the HP variable we can actually initialize something called friction Okay, so instead of saying if uh, H speed equals zero, what we could say is if and this is on the release on the release if place meeting x comma y plus five with O ice that's our object, then what we're going to say is friction equals zero point two, else H speed equals zero. 
let's copy this. Let's put it into here. Make everything organized. And there we go. So now if we run it, as you can see, we're fine here, but when we get on the ice, we actually slide. But now there is one other problem. And that is if you stop and you slide here, let me try and if you stop and you slide like that, as you can see, you go onto the block, the solid block, but you still slide on it, which is a glitch. And also if you wanted to make it slide more or something like that, then you could put like friction equals 0 0.1, we could say. And the less the friction, the more it's going to slide. So as you can see, that, that looks a little bit better. But yeah, as you can see, it still slides when we move off the ice and onto the block. So here's how we're going to fix that. We're going to say if place meeting x comma y plus one o block um, and okay, so we need an and here. Uh, friction is greater than zero. Go and put some curly braces down. We're going to set friction to equal zero and h speed to equal zero. Now, O block, I know we're just using one different block, but if you make a parent block and you parent all of the blocks together, you can simply just use that parent block to check everything. Okay, so if we're meeting with the block and friction is greater than zero, basically that means, hey, if we're sliding, because that means if friction is greater than zero, then we're sliding. Uh, then we're going to set friction to zero and we're going to set h speed to zero. So let's go ahead and run it. So as you can see, we're sliding still. And then when, when we get to there, over there, boom, it stops. But there is another problem real quick. And that is that you actually still stop while you're on the ice. And the, the way we can fix that is we could say uh, with our x, we could say minus sprite width. divided by two, multiplied by facing, okay? So what this is basically doing is it's saying x, my, and then you can do whatever you want. Since our sprite, was, sprite width is 32 by 32, I believe, uh, or 32 by 64, then it's gonna take this, okay? And it's going to say 16. So it's basically, it's checking 16 pixels in front of the player because we're multiplying it by the facing. So if x minus 16 just ends up being 16, and facing equals, or you know, it'll, it'll be whatever it is. And then fa if, if we're facing to the right, then it's gonna check 16 pixels in front of us. But if we're facing to the left and we multiply that by a negative one, then it's gonna check uh, negative 16 pixels in front of us, which, which will be in front of us again. So that's how you do that. So let's go ahead. So as you can see, we're sliding and let's go on over here. And there you go. So now halfway, you stop halfway between the block and the ice. So go leave a like, go and subscribe. I hope you guys learned something. Uh, let's try and head for 40 likes this time. Uh, I, I hope we can get it. And leave me some comments on what you should see next. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.